The Pet Inclusive Housing Initiative, or, or PIHI as we call it, we formed this initiative to try to address the issue of how do we get more pet owners into rental housing. A lot of people find themselves in situations where they have to choose between housing and their pet, and our mission is to make sure that never happens. 67% of Americans have pets, and that is horribly represented in housing right now. 78% uh, feel like it's hard to find housing for their pets, and only 8% of the housing in America is truly free of restrictions. Our goal is to work with all types of housing to try to move the needle among owners and operators and help them understand that breed and weight restrictions just don't make a lot of sense anymore. There's really no data to support it and that owners can see great financial benefits of opening up their pet policies. The problem is that the landlords perceive that the pets represent uh, an economic detriment rather than a benefit. But there's now been enough work done that proves that the turnover, which is the most expensive thing to a landlord, is greatly diminished in the communities that allow the pets. These people stay longer, they're happier, and rather than the neighbors objecting to the pet, it seems to attract other neighbors that want pets. When I go into communities that allow pets, the community is healthy and vibrant and alive and people talk to each other. It's exactly what owner-operators want. I've been in property management for 30 years and traditionally uh, it was a no pet policy in most apartment communities. What we've learned over the years is that pet ownership is a huge factor in community building and building community is what generates retention and the better managed the property is because people tend to know each other, they look out for each other, they're out the dog run, they're meeting people, and it just creates this wonderful environment. It makes our job as property managers that much easier. I think there should not be any restrictions. I don't know why there are at all. Dogs are awesome. And people who have dogs are always, always nice people too. Within our market, we definitely have seen a competitive advantage compared to the other communities by having this awesome pet policy. Our average renewal before this was about 50%, pretty much average with the industry. Being able to say we don't have a weight limit, no breed restrictions, and no pet rent, we've seen our rentals up to 80% renewal rate. Currently, there's 7.2 million rental households that said that they would take either a pet or a second pet if the landlord would allow it. That's more animals that get destroyed in all the shelters in the United States each year. So this is obviously one of the most important things we could be doing is opening up housing for people who want to have these pets and empty the shelters. 98% of Americans feel like their pet is a family member. Animals really are the heart of our communities. Increasing the availability of pet inclusive housing can help families and pets find the homes that they need. There is such a huge difference between the term pet friendly and pet inclusive. Most operators think of themselves as pet friendly because they do allow some pets. But pet inclusive really means allowing all pets. And that's what we'd like to see more of in our industry.